Hello everyone, welcome to Shifting News, a channel for amazing facts and information. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 ways to break bad habits. Watch this video till the end for a better understanding, and make sure to subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our future uploads. Everybody has habits, and none of them are intrinsically bad. Some are quite beneficial, such as laying out your work clothes the night before or turning out the lights when you leave a room. However, some behaviors, such as biting your nails, drinking caffeine late in the day, or hitting the snooze button too often, may not be so healthy. It can be difficult to break bad habits, especially if you've been doing them for a long period. Understanding how habits arise in the first place, on the other hand, can make the process go more smoothly. There are several hypotheses about how habits form. One of the most important concepts is the three R, reminder, routine, and reward. Here are 10 ways to help you change that old, obstinate habit, based on the 3R concept. Number 10. Recognize your triggers. Remember that identifying triggers is the first step toward forming a habit. The first step toward overcoming your regular habits is to identify the triggers that cause them. Track your habit for a few days to determine if it follows any trends. Let's say you don't want to stay up past midnight any longer. After a few days of recording your activity, you notice that if you start watching TV, or speaking with friends after supper, you tend to stay up later. If you read or go for a walk, though, you will go to bed earlier. On weeknights, you decide to turn off the TV, and switch off your phone by 9pm. Removing the trigger, such as watching TV or talking to friends, makes it more difficult to maintain the late night routine. Number 9. Concentrate on why you want to make a change. Why are you trying to break or change a habit? According to research, changing your habit is easier when the change you want to make is worthwhile or advantageous to you. Consider why you wish to quit the habit and any benefits you perceive as a result of the change for a few minutes. List these reasons to see if you can come up with any others that haven't occurred to you yet. Number 8. Enlist the help of a buddy. If you and a friend or partner both want to change a bad habit, make an effort to do so together. Let's pretend you both want to quit smoking. It's difficult to deal with cravings on your own. The urges will not go away if you quit with a companion. When confronted with them alongside someone else, though, they may be simpler to deal with. Number 7. Mindfulness is a good thing to do. Mindfulness can assist you in becoming more aware of your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Simply monitoring impulses that are related to your habit without judging or reacting to them is part of this exercise. You may find it simpler to consider other options, such as avoiding reminder cues or not acting on desires, as you become more aware of these repetitive behaviors, and the triggers that lead to them. Mindfulness can also assist you in recognizing how your habit affects your day-to-day -day life. As you become more aware of these consequences, you may become more motivated to focus on breaking the behavior. Number 6. Replace the bad habit with a good one. You might have an easier time breaking a habit if you replace the unwanted behavior with a new behavior, instead of simply trying to stop the unwanted behavior. Say you want to stop reaching for candy when you're hungry at work. If you simply try to avoid the candy dish, you might fall back into the habit when you can't resist hunger. But bringing in a Tupperware of dried fruit and nuts to keep at your desk gives you another snack option. Number 5. Leave yourself reminders. Using stickers, sticky notes, or other visual reminders wherever the habit behavior happens can help you rethink the action when something triggers you. You can also use a smartphone for reminders. Set your alarm and add a motivating note to yourself, such as, time to turn off the TV. Or, after dinner walk, remember how good it feels. Number 4. Prepare for slip-ups. Breaking a habit can be challenging, though you might find some habits easier to shake than others. It's very easy to slip back into old patterns, particularly when the new ones aren't solidified yet. Change is hard. Remember, it took a while to build up those habits, so you won't lose them in a day. Number 4. Let go of the all-or-nothing mindset. Accepting you'll probably slip up a few times when trying to break a habit and coming up with a plan is one thing. Preventing feelings of frustration and failure when you do slip up is another story. If you fall back into an old habit, you might wonder, can I really do this? You might begin to doubt yourself and feel inclined to give up. Number 3. Start small. Trying to kick multiple habits in the same go. The image of a new, improved self can be a powerful motivator, especially when you first decide to change unwanted habits. This can sometimes work. 
If the habits go together, you might find it easier to address them at the same time. For example, if you want to stop smoking and drinking, and you always do those two things together, quitting both at once may make the most sense. Number 2. Change your surroundings. Your surroundings might have a significant impact on your habits at times. Maybe you're attempting to stop the habit of getting takeout all the time because it's too expensive. However, the to-go menus are visible on your fridge every time you enter the kitchen. You could try substituting printouts of simple recipes you know you'll appreciate for the meal. Number 1. Visualize yourself breaking the habit. Breaking habits doesn't have to be a physically demanding endeavor. Mentally, you can also rehearse new replacement habits. Consider yourself in a triggering event or environment, such as the morning of your performance evaluation. How would you normally react in this situation? You might find yourself chewing your nails or pounding your pen against your desk as a result of your anxiety. What would you do instead? Visualize yourself doing anything that keeps your hands occupied and helps you relax, such as deep breathing, strolling to get a sip of water, looking through old notes or files, or organizing desk drawers. That was it for this video. What do you think about our video? Do you find it helpful? Let us know in the comment section below. As always, please remember to subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss many more videos like this. Talk to you all in our next video. Take care.